Right, we're on. I've just done. S yep, seven lessons back to back. I'm absolutely fried. This video needs done though. We're talking about chicken wing today, get rid of the chicken wing, but before we do it, I need to tidy this place up. It is a s hole. Chicken wing today. Microphone is on, that's cool. Right, the dreaded chicken wing. So the chicken wing, left arm for right handed golfer, come into impact, left arm goes this way. We get that on the go. We better look at it, ready for this. That is what's happening. What does that do? People get away with it. People can hit decent golf shots with a chicken wing. Don't know how I'm going to do this though. For a lack of power, there's no release. We're not releasing, we're pulling the left elbow away from the golf club. Golf ball, sorry. Um, a lot of people who stand up who have early extension put a chicken wing in there because as they come into impact with the golf ball, come in, they stand this way. So then the body going that way, the left arm has to come this way to make room. So do this motion, not good. So let's try and get rid of it. How do we get rid of it? Simple, simple drill. We stand as far away from the golf ball as we possibly can get away with. <coughs> Excuse me. Jeez, I'm all right, honestly I'm all right. So let's stand far away from the golf ball. I mean, this is too far, I have eight iron in my hand. This is too far away from the golf ball, obviously. But what this is going to do, it's going to promote a position into impact and post impact where both arms are straight. So if I'm here, I come down into impact, both arms are straight now, I'm not pulling away from the golf ball, I can't afford it because I'll miss the ball. So I have to release the golf club through to a two arm straight position, both arms are straighter, the right will probably still be a little bit flexed at impact, but both arms will be straighter at impact and straighter afterwards, allowing the release of the club head. Using the baseball bat analogy or the baseball swing will help this happen as well if you get your club out in front of you and swing it purely on a horizontal plane you'll feel how the club releases or the right hand passes the left at impact or the point the club head or the end of the club is furthest away from the torso club out as far as possible, swinging round, I can feel there, as I do this, the club, the right hand passes the left, both arms go into a straight position as the club centripetal force pulling the club away from me at the point of what would be impact, and I can feel from there, in fact hold on, may as well use the right thing, so I feel at the point of what would be impact, the butt end or the, the, the furthest end of the club bat is away from my body, my left arm straight and then I can feel how the left arm folds over. That action is very different than this action. I mean if I was playing baseball there's no way I would come in this way. You ask anyone to swing a baseball bat, whether they play baseball or not, they fold the left arm from there correctly. Every time they fold it correctly then they hit a golf ball and pull in. Same action. You wouldn't do that playing baseball. I don't play baseball, maybe you do. The natural swing of a baseball bat, hitting it as far as you possibly can, you'd be a left arm folding, as mentioned. So let's do it, let's stand far away. Maybe easier to tee this up, we'll try it. Camera could take a hit here, because the toe of the club is going to be so far off the ground. I cannot afford a new camera. Toes off the ground. I'm standing in my normal position for eight times here. I'm going away back here. A good eight inches, ten inches too far away. 
if through at impact you'll feel both arms straightening, I'll feel how the left arm bends over, how it should do, which is that position, not that position. Let's see what happens. So I'm stretching for the golf ball to, to ensure the left arm folds correctly and no longer chickens. Draw. Of course it's going to draw, it's changed path. Hard to cut across it now. Hard to cut across to get the slice because the ball is so far away. Further away. Release. Hook. No chicken wing. Then you can gradually bring yourself closer to the golf ball. So they've gone from there, you can bring yourself closer, hit some balls, and so on until you get into a position where you can stand the correct distance from the ball and feel and understand how the left arm is supposed to fold and less wing. There's nothing worse than winging it, eh? Guys, thanks again. If you've subscribed to the channel, brilliant. If you've not subscribed, just click it. It's right there. It says subscribe, little red button. Um, thumbs up as well, that shares it around YouTube and the bell notification will give you instant notifications of all my videos. If you've not checked out my stuff on EurekaGolfSwing.com, go there right now. This is really taken over. The Eureka Golf Swing aiming left, playing golf that way is really, really, well, it's, it's staggering. I'd like to thank everyone who has taken part in it, who has bought into the programme. Um, I mean, it's pennies, it's less than the price of a golf lesson. It's worth looking. Links below.